Hey guys, in this episode of Beyond the Basics, we will be looking at blueprint function libraries, how they work, and how to create them. So, before I show you all how to create a blueprint function library, it is important to know what exactly they are. So, at their core, blueprint function libraries are a collection of static functions that provide utility that is not tied to any specific object in your project. So, basically, any time that you make a blueprint and you're calling functions, that function is stored somewhere and you can make your own versions of those functions that can be used across any blueprint in your level or in your project. So today I will be creating a simple blueprint function library that will add some nice functions to our project for us to use anywhere we want. So to get started, we are going to right click in our content browser and as you can see I made a new folder called libraries. You're going to want to go ahead and right click, go up to blueprint and go to blueprint function library. I'm going to use the naming convention BFL underscore and we'll call it tutorial. And we are going to double click and open our blueprint function library. And you'll see that we have a function already created for us. And I'm going to name this, um, let's see, set static or set mesh visibility and collision. So if you guys watched my last tutorial on the blueprint basics um, on my uh, complete tutorial series, you would know that we made a function within our platform to do exactly what we're doing today. So what I'm going to do is make a function that will actually allow us to use that one function anywhere in our project. So set mesh, mesh visibility and collision. We want to have to have an input. So I want to put an input here, actually two inputs. The first input is going to be our mesh. Now we want this to be able to take in a static mesh or a skeletal mesh. So you're going to want to just search mesh, scroll down until you get to mesh component right here. And then in this one right here, we're going to say show. And this is going to decide if we are going to show or hide the mesh. Coming out of the mesh component, we are going to do set visibility. And then we are also going to do set collision. We're going to set collision enabled and set visibility. Now out of the new type, we're going to do a select node. Just like this, we're going to plug in our show input into the index. And we want it so that if they choose true on the show, we want it to be collision enabled and false, no collision. And then for the set visibility, we're just going to go ahead and plug the show into there. So now when we call this function with that mesh, that mesh will set its visibility and its collision to whatever they choose. Go ahead and compile and save. And as you can see, if I go back to my content and go back to our platform, which we made in a previous tutorial, and I want to go and set this static mesh here to be invisible, right? And I'm going to do that on when we jump on it. So this is actually going to detect if we jump on it, this event here. I'm going to take that mesh. And usually what I would do is I would do all of this here. But instead, I'm going to just call our function, which was set mesh visibility and collision right here. And plug that in. And we will choose not show. So now we jump on one of these platforms. We go up to it. It will just disappear immediately. Just like this. Now, the difference between a blueprint function library and a regular function in your project or in your blueprint is that it can be called within any blueprint you want. So we have a function that actually does exactly what we want here, but we want to be able to call that anywhere. So this function here can only be called in this blueprint, where if, if this uh, other one that we just made in the blueprint function library, we can actually use that anywhere. So this set mesh visibility and collision, we can call that on any blueprint we want. Now there are a few settings you can do. So as you can see in here, if I look for set mesh visibility and collision, it just shows up under BFL tutorial and there is no uh, tooltip on it. So what I can do is I can actually click on that function and I can give it a description and I can say toggles the or sets the visibility and collision response of a mesh. And we can set the category to um, mesh adjustments. Sure. 
and then we can go ahead and click compile and save and now if i go back to the parkour platform i don't know if it's going to work uh since i didn't refresh anything set mesh visibility and collision yep it shows up in mesh adjustments and we hover over it we have our new tooltip and you can create as many functions as you want in this list here and you will be able to use those across any blueprint you want. So I know this tutorial was very simple, but that is going to be the end of it for today. I will have some more in-depth tutorials on blueprint function libraries later on, but I believe that with this short little video, you guys can begin creating and playing around with your blueprint function libraries as you please. So hope that you guys enjoyed, and I hope you find this useful. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Talk to you guys later. Thank you so much.